I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Is this Mikey's room? All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No. Not at all. If if anything, I I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just I swear if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... <laughs> Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night soon. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. 
So yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Uh, uh, float. Or. Whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. <laughs> well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on... everything. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. <laughs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Uh, four? You can't be totally positive, but you're pretty sure the forest has trees. Helpful. Okay, come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. Maybe the dragonkin won't follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly dissolving. <sighs> of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. You fall into it. Ugh. Seriously? It starts to burn your skin. 
a little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. <laughs> but right before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. You're a move. Let's see. Uh, astral axe. That sounds destructive as shit. You swing your axe with the power of a small sun, slicing each of the cubes into thirds. <laughs> but yet again, the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Wh where do you keep getting these? A good game master is always prepared. The polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 damage. I cast Ring of Fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of tiny pieces. I use temper tantrum. I, I stomp on all the little pieces and grind them into the rock like, like cigarette butts. It's super effective. Your attack managed to split the jelly into thousands of tiny globs. Uh. I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. You're near the exit of the caves when you run across... Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? Yeah, little brother. Pavel. The arrogant gnome bard joins your party. Arrogant? You're not used to words that big, are you? Damn. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you could fight. I don't need violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of gelatinous polyhedra has caught up to you. Several spew acid directly at Elamon. What do you do? I grab the bard and use him to shield Elamon. Whoa, hey, can she do that? All's fair in love and tabletop. You whip the bard's little body back and forth, blocking each blast of acid as they fly at you. The gnome shrieks a perfect F-sharp with every hit. Eventually, all the skin melts from your body, and you die. That was sick. Oh my god. You're a monster. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, Horizon to horizon, all you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap, and you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, uh, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually... You did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one Bracer. <sighs> A 
Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? You know what else you've never done? Given up. If either of us is going to survive, this is the only way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. People must be lining up to adventure with the great Elamon. You could replace me in no time. I won't just kill you. You're the only one I want to fight beside. You'll kill all of these monsters, too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stupid faces off. But I, I can save everyone. I know I can. Somehow. Everyone dies sooner or later. It's okay. I can handle it. I've had a short but adventurous life. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the bracer of fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the elf barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? No words, but I do flip all the monsters the double bird. Way to keep the moment going. The spell comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? And the game's over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well... What if I make a new character? Wait... Really? You wanna keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. I... I told you. 
I was working for Frank. I know. That doesn't mean you weren't trying to help us too. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by... I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious... I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. I should see her right away. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. 
I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Dad's office? Zero seven two two. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well... 
That's good. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you... Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So? Obviously, something is going on. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. I'm not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. It's the big one. <laughs> 